What if one of the world's most advanced AI systems has already seen the future of a mysterious object in Colombia and warned us it could break open from the inside? This is a scenario people are actively discussing. We're talking about Grok 4, Elon Musk's latest artificial intelligence from XAI. There are unverified online posts claiming Grok 4 modeled the Buga Sphere. You probably haven't heard of the Buga Sphere yet, but you should have. This metallic orb crashed near Buga, Colombia in March 2025, and it's been baffling scientists ever since. No visible welds, no seams, a three-layered structure that doesn't match typical manufacturing. But here's where it gets concerning. Some posts claim Grok 4 analyzed the sphere and issued a warning. One modeled scenario suggests the internal quantum cluster could overheat. In that scenario, an internal breach becomes possible. Think about that for a second. And A, I might flag this. This system could fail catastrophically. Now, Grok 4 isn't just any AI. Unlike older models trapped with outdated information, Grok 4 searches the web in real time. It gathers data, analyzes patterns, and makes predictions based on the most current information available. NASA has tested AI tools for fault detection in spacecraft operations. If an AI flagged risk here, engineers would pay attention. The sphere reportedly shows unusual behavior. It's gaining weight mysteriously. It's actively cooling its surroundings instead of heating up. Observers described a dead zone at the site. The mechanism remains unclear. These aren't typical properties of known technology. They're the signatures of something operating on principles we barely understand. And if Grok 4 is right, those same principles might be about to turn against the object itself. Let's start with something that should absolutely blow your mind. NASA Goddard has developed AI methods to anticipate spacecraft faults. RAISR style systems can flag issues earlier than manual checks. Picture this. A satellite millions of miles away starts running slightly cooler than normal. RAISR notices the temperature drop and connects it to a failing heat regulation system. The AI warns ground control days before the spacecraft would have died in space. Now, imagine that same predictive power turned on something we don't understand. Something that operates by rules we haven't figured out yet. That's the unverified claim regarding Grok 4 and the Buga Sphere. Grok 4 could create digital twins, in principle. These are complete virtual copies of real objects, running simulations to test every possible scenario. If a digital twin was built, early models might show concerning patterns. The AI identified the sphere's cooling effect as a critical failure point, not a feature, a vulnerability. Here's what the simulations apparently revealed. One preprint proposes a negative mass interpretation. This field is what allows the object to gain weight while simultaneously cooling its environment. But maintaining this field requires perfect thermal balance. Think of it like a dam holding back a massive reservoir. As long as the dam holds, everything stays stable. But the moment it cracks, all that stored energy has to go somewhere fast. So here's the big question. If an AI can already warn us when a satellite is about to fail, what happens when it looks at something that doesn't belong to any known technology? That's where the story of the Bugosphere takes a dramatic turn. The Bugosphere isn't just puzzling physicists. It's caught the attention of scientists across multiple fields, and what they're finding should concern you. Some observers report deeper soil impacts. Verification remains pending. We're talking about complete molecular breakdown three feet into the ground. Researchers described localized energy effects. Instrumentation details are limited. But here's the scary part. They can't detect any residual radiation. Whatever caused this damage operated by principles that don't show up on conventional instruments. Some compare the pattern to radiation sterilization without detected radioactivity. The pattern mirrors what happens around Chernobyl, where gamma radiation strips all life from the environment, except the Buga site shows no radioactive signatures whatsoever. This suggests the sphere absorbed something from its surroundings during the crash. Not just heat or moisture, but the fundamental energy that keeps biological systems alive. Like and subscribe for Fact First Deep Dives. The cross-disciplinary analysis gets even more disturbing when astrophysicists enter the picture. The three-layer motif invites cosmic analogies. It's an analogy, not a composition claim. 
These are objects so dense that a teaspoon would weigh as much as a mountain. But neutron stars exist in the vacuum of space, crushed by gravitational forces we can barely comprehend. How does something with that internal structure survive intact on Earth's surface? One hypothesis imagines localized gravity-like effects. This remains speculative. The implications are staggering. We could be looking at the first recovered quantum core, a technology that manipulates space-time itself. This isn't just a scientific curiosity anymore. It's potentially the most valuable object on the planet. China has invested heavily in quantum research. The United States has invested billions in quantum computing research. Russia maintains programs exploring novel physics applications. Could this seed a new strategic technology race? Let me bring this back to what really matters. Grok 4's prediction isn't just about some mysterious artifact sitting in a Colombian lab. It's about a potential disaster that could affect every single person watching this video. Here's what the AI apparently calculated. If the Bugosphere's quantum cluster overheats and breaches, the collapse of its negative mass field won't stay contained. Upper bound scenarios include a significant electromagnetic disturbance. We're talking about a wave of interference that could knock out satellites orbiting overhead. Critical systems could experience disruption, depending on the energy release. Imagine your phone, your internet, even the satellites guiding planes, all disrupted in a single moment. This is a plausible engineering failure scenario, not a prediction. But here's what should really unnerve you. This isn't the first time humanity has encountered mysterious spheres with inexplicable properties. In 1974, the Betts family in Florida discovered a metallic sphere that rolled on its own and emitted radio signals. Investigators never explained how it worked. Ancient Incan legends speak of golden spheres that controlled hidden forces. Some interpret ancient Vimana stories as advanced craft. These are mythic accounts. You see, this isn't the first time we've been confronted with mysterious spheres. From the Betts family's rolling orb in the 70s to Incan legends of golden spheres, these stories always come back to one thing, control over hidden power. The pattern is always the same. Advanced technology appears in spherical form. It demonstrates impossible properties. Then it either disappears or stops working, taking its secrets with it. The Bugosphere might be different. This object is under study by researchers. We're measuring its effects in real time. We're documenting everything it does, but we're also watching it potentially approach a failure state. And just when scientists thought they understood the Bugosphere's cooling ability, new data flipped the story upside down. To understand why Grok 4's prediction is so terrifying, you need to know how impossible the Bugosphere's cooling really is. Real quantum computers require the most extreme cold imaginable. We're talking about temperatures of 0.01 Kelvin. That's one hundredth of a degree above absolute zero. It's 300 times colder than the vacuum of space. Fermilab just built something called the Colossus Dilution Refrigerator. This machine is the size of a small building. It uses massive pumps running continuously at kilowatts of power. All of this just to keep a five cubic meter chamber cold enough for quantum computing. Think of it like keeping an ice cube solid in the middle of a volcano. Somehow this object does it effortlessly. The Buga sphere is the size of a basketball. It has no visible power source, no refrigeration equipment, no pumps or cooling systems. Yet it's maintaining quantum level temperatures while absorbing heat from its surroundings. This should be physically impossible. If you've ever put your hand near a laptop when it's overheating, you know how fragile our machines are. Now, imagine a machine the size of a basketball that not only runs cool, but absorbs heat from the world around it. MIT researchers confirm that even tiny heat inputs destroy quantum systems instantly. A single photon of warm light can crash an entire quantum processor. The thermal management has to be perfect, or everything fails at once. That's why the sphere's weight gain is so ominous. Something inside is changing. The perfect balance that maintains its cooling effect might be shifting toward instability. When quantum systems overheat, they don't just shut down gracefully. The energy release is immediate and violent. Superconducting magnets can explode. Cryogenic systems can rupture. Stored energy dumps instantly into whatever's nearby. But the real twist comes when we ask, what happens if that cooling suddenly stops? 
Here's what nobody's talking about publicly, but everyone's thinking privately. If the Buga sphere really contains a working quantum core, there's no way world powers are just sitting back and watching. The United States Space Force has been tracking anomalous objects since its creation. China has invested heavily in quantum research. Russia maintains programs exploring novel physics applications. Now, imagine what happens when satellite imagery confirms there's a basketball-sized object in Colombia that's rewriting the laws of physics. Let's be honest. If something like this really contains a working quantum core, there's no way world powers will just sit back. Whoever unlocks it first could control the next century. Think about the implications. The sphere demonstrates negative mass effects. That's anti-gravity technology. It shows sustained cryogenic cooling without external power. That's unlimited energy storage. It manipulates local space-time enough to sterilize soil. That's weaponization potential. Any one of these capabilities would revolutionize military technology. Combined, they represent a technological leap equivalent to giving muskets to ancient Romans. The race is already on, whether we see it or not. Intelligence agencies don't announce when they're monitoring recovered technology. Military contractors don't publish papers about reverse engineering attempts. Defense departments classify anything that could shift global power balances. But the Buga sphere represents something more dangerous than a typical arms race. Most military technology builds on existing science. We understand the principles, even if the engineering is complex. This object operates by rules we haven't discovered yet. Reverse engineering it would be like trying to build a computer after finding a smartphone in medieval times. You might figure out that it does something useful, but understanding how could take decades. Except, we might not have decades. If Grok 4's prediction is accurate, this window of opportunity could close violently and without warning. That creates a terrifying scenario. Multiple world powers racing to extract secrets from an object that might destroy itself before anyone succeeds. Let me take you back to where this all started, because the discovery itself was just as bizarre as everything that followed. March 2nd, 2025, rural Colombia near the small town of Buga. Multiple eyewitnesses reported seeing a metallic sphere flying in completely impossible patterns. Not just hovering, actually zigzagging through the sky like it was drunk. Normal aircraft follow predictable flight paths. Balloons drift with wind currents. Even experimental drones maintain some kind of logical trajectory. This thing was carving random angles through the air before it suddenly plummeted and crashed into farmland. Local scientists from University of San Francisco de Quito and UNAM arrived within days to investigate. What they found defied every expectation. The sphere showed no visible damage from impact. No cracks, no dents, no scorch marks. More disturbing, it had no visible welds or seams anywhere on its surface. The entire outer shell appeared to be formed from a single piece of metal. X-ray scanning revealed the internal structure that's been baffling researchers ever since three concentric metal layers, each with different properties. Embedded throughout the core, multiple small metal spheres of unknown purpose. Microscopic imaging found something even stranger. Complex wiring running through the interior, connecting to what researchers describe as a central chip. The sophistication suggests advanced electronics operating inside this seamless shell. But the truly disturbing discoveries came when they started measuring the sphere's effects on its environment. Mass readings reportedly changed over time in lab settings. Initial measurements showed the sphere weighed about 16 to 20 pounds. Weeks later, the same object weighed 22 pounds. It had gained mass while sitting motionless in a controlled laboratory. This would challenge established physics if confirmed. Objects don't spontaneously become heavier. Mass conservation is one of the most basic laws of the universe. Yet, here was an object casually breaking that rule while scientists watched. Instruments reportedly measured net cooling on the order of approximately 100 watts. Instead of radiating heat like every other object on Earth, the sphere was actively absorbing thermal energy from its surroundings. To put that in perspective, a typical household light bulb uses 60 watts. This object was pulling that much energy out of the environment continuously, with no visible mechanism and no apparent energy storage. But the most chilling discovery was what it had done to the crash site itself. Taken together, the data support a credible risk scenario. 
this scenario aligns with known cryogenic failure modes. When quantum computers overheat, the energy release is instantaneous and devastating. The sphere's negative mass field requires perfect thermal balance to remain stable. If that cooling effect falters for even seconds, physics suggests catastrophic collapse. But here's what makes this prediction truly terrifying. The sphere is already showing signs of instability. The mysterious weight gain, the unexplained symbols that might be diagnostic warnings, the sterilized soil that proves this object can affect matter at the molecular level. They're consistent with a system under stress. The historical parallels make this even more ominous. The Bet Sphere stopped working after researchers studied it too intensively. Ancient legends describe orbs of power that either disappeared or became dormant when their balance was disturbed. What if these objects have built-in failure modes? What if they're designed to self-destruct rather than reveal their secrets? The Buga Sphere might be following the same pattern. Operating normally until external interference triggers a predetermined shutdown sequence. If Grok 4's analysis is correct, we're not just witnessing the study of advanced technology. We may be approaching a narrowing operating margin, but the implications go far beyond losing a single mysterious artifact. If the sphere really houses a quantum cluster, its failure could release energy in ways we don't understand. That brings us back to the electromagnetic pulse scenario. A collapsing negative mass field doesn't follow normal physics. The energy release could propagate through dimensions we can't measure, affecting systems far beyond the immediate blast radius. Satellites could fail. Communication networks could crash. GPS systems guiding aircraft could go dark without warning. That's why the story isn't just about a strange object in Colombia. It's about the future of AI, the limits of physics, and what happens when both collide. Grok 4's prediction forces us to confront an uncomfortable reality. We've found technology that operates beyond our understanding. We're studying it intensively. And an artificial intelligence is warning us that our investigation might trigger exactly the kind of failure we're trying to prevent. If the Buga Sphere really houses a quantum cluster, Grok 4's prediction forces us to ask, will we witness a breakthrough in technology or a catastrophic failure that could ripple across the planet? So where does this leave us? Grok 4's prediction of a quantum cluster breach isn't just speculation anymore. It's a scenario we can't afford to ignore. Whether the AI is right or wrong, the Buga Sphere has already proven that our understanding of physics has serious gaps. Objects shouldn't gain mass spontaneously. Technology shouldn't cool its environment without external power. Crashes shouldn't sterilize soil through unknown mechanisms. Yet all of these impossible things are happening in a laboratory right now. This discovery fills me with equal parts wonder and dread. We're potentially looking at the most significant technological find in human history, but we're also staring at something that could fail catastrophically while we're still trying to understand it. The sphere forces us to ask questions we've never had to consider. What happens when we find technology that isn't ours? How do we study something that might destroy itself if we probe too deeply? What do we do when artificial intelligence warns us about consequences we can't predict? These aren't abstract philosophical problems anymore. They're immediate practical challenges that could affect every person on this planet. If accurate, that warning would be unprecedented for public analysis. For the first time, an artificial intelligence is potentially predicting the failure of technology we didn't create and don't understand. Whether this is a warning or a turning point, the Buga Sphere forces us to confront a question. Are we ready for technology that isn't ours? The answer might determine whether this discovery becomes humanity's greatest breakthrough or its most dangerous mistake.